Welcome to the AIR section. We will teach you step by step on how to complete the AIR section. Let's start by opening the page www.greenschoolsprogram.org. Let's come to task 1. We need to first create a team of 5 to 10 students plus administrative staff who would help the AIR audit team. The teacher coordinator may be a science or a social science teacher. The school transport in charge, if your school has one, the drivers of school vehicles can also be included in the air audit team. In the box given under task 1, fill in the name of the teacher, the administrative staff and the name of the students who will be part of the air audit team. Do fill in the date when your team starts this exercise. OK, now that we have a team ready, let us look at the responsibilities of this team. Task 2 will help you find out if the classrooms in your school are well ventilated. To find out, we need to find out the window flow ratio of the classrooms. All openings have to be considered. By openings, we mean windows and ventilators that can be opened on a regular basis. The sample size required is 10 classrooms. Two classrooms each from pre-primary, primary, middle, secondary and higher secondary. If your school is up to standard 10th, then you can add a classroom from any tier. For this task, the team can divide itself into subgroups to find the details of the classrooms. One team can find the area of the floor. The other team can find out the area of the openings. While third team can calculate the percentage of floor area being ventilated. A team of students can find out the total number of classrooms a school has and then fill the data accordingly. Remember, as and when you find information, you can populate the section. Press Save and Resume later. Task 3 is a tabular representation to find out how eco-friendly the vehicles are in your school. For this task, the team can divide itself into many subgroups. Two critical parameters will indicate if your vehicles are eco-friendly. One is the type of fuel used. Second, age of the vehicle. Please give the details of vehicles owned by your school. Details required are type of vehicle, fuel used, License number, if the PUC has been done. Does your school have authorized parking available? And if the buses are air conditioned? The next task is to find out how the students and staff of the school travel or commute to your school every day. It's a complete transport survey sheet where the record of each and every individual is taken. If the space provided is not enough, then the information can be provided in another sheet. The sheet can be scanned and uploaded before you submit the audit. Task 5 is to determine how good the air you breathe in your school is. If students are suffering from any respiratory ailments, for instance, the class monitors can find out the total number of students suffering. If any from asthma, bronchitis and subsequently record the number in the field. Lastly, does the school lab have an air quality monitoring equipment in place? If your school has the equipment, then select yes. If it doesn't, then select no. Congratulations! Now you know how to carry out the Green School Air Survey. Every bit of information 
that you fill in this section will go a long way in educating students and schools to evolve and adopt the least polluting way of life. Take care and goodbye.